Hello everyone, my name is Christian Bertolomeus and welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you about my projects in IBM Coursera Advanced Data Science Capstone. So let's get started. The topic I took for this project is a graduate submission. For those students who want to continue to a master degree, they require very expensive and intensive work. And with my project, I will guess their capacities and will decide whether to apply for a master degree or not. There are some features I took for the datasets, and they include GRE scores, TOEFL scores, unit rating, statement of purpose, letter of recommendation strength, undergraduate CGPA, research experience, and chance of admit. For the range of the value of each features, I've decided uh, specifically to boost and support my project's calculations and requirements. And if you see these charts from each feature of correlation, we can see that there are three most important features columns such as CGPA, GRE score, and TOEFL scores. While there are least three features that we can see such as research, LOR, and SOP. From the score relation, you can decide the which feature or columns to that you can use for the data projects. And this is the data visualization. So you can see the table charts from the research experience. The candidates with not having or having research frequency is a bit tiny to decide whether they go to pursue master degree or not. But the tool scores, CB, CGPA scores, and GRE scores, they show the significant value to decide whether the person to go to a master degree or not. And next, for the model performance indicator, I took the F1 score, and this is the common performance indicator to indicate our model performance. And the formula is two multiplied precision multiplied recall and divide it with precision at recall. While calculating the prediction data, I took two different uh, approaches. And the first one is logistic regression and the second one is Gaussian naive bias. You can see from the confusion matrix the, in the logistic regression, the real y values and the predicted y values with the same zero is 50 and the different one is 7, while the same one is 22 and the different is 1. And they show the three different values from its precision score, recall score, and F1 score. If you compare to the Gaussian knife bias, the logistic regression have a slight higher value in precision score while well, they have lower value in recall score and F1 score compared to Gaussian knife bias. This because I took the Gaussian knife bias model data with the different feature engineering and the data sets in creation of the model projects. So in the real life values with the same zero they have 49 and the different is 1. While the same one value, they have 28 and the difference is 2. And that's why the, they have the F1 and recall is higher than the logistic regressions. And this is the end of my predicted graduate submissions video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.